Oh. Oof. Oh, that's some hardcore air conditioning. Not a big crowd. Well, those things always fall off. Oh, uh, thank you. Things. Yeah, they don't actually work. They just look cool. They're so small. Thank you. Yep. Have a good one. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> okay, back you go. So later this week, I don't know what's on the schedule. I don't know when we're gonna be here this week. 
let's go get our stuff and check our photos, get them filed, and then get out of here. Oh, Marine One's lifting. Let's go get that photo of Marine One lifting, because it's always a pretty cool shot as it comes up over the White House itself. There you guys. Okay, let's uh, run back inside. Now we do what's called filing. We take the photos and we upload them to our newswire so they can push them out to their clients. <laughs> but he didn't talk anyway. This is what all the stills people <laughs> have to do. Okay, a pretty quiet arrival. There's no, no media coming out to do an immediate like update of what happened because, well, not much happened. All right, he's upstairs in the residence and I'm going back to my residence because my day is done. We filed our photos. We'll probably put this video in our video tomorrow. I don't really have enough to show you tonight. Hey guys, good morning from Georgetown in Washington, D.C. We just been to the Apple shop. The uh, iPhone got dropped yesterday or whatever, something weird happened to it, and it went out of service. So the Genius Bar has a 90-minute iPhone repair. Woohoo! score. Uh, today, well, what do we got? Uh, there is a Medal of Honor being awarded at the White House, and I'm gonna get, I've got credentials to go cover the Medal of Honor award ceremony, which is pretty cool. And uh, it's really, really hot. Really, really hot. So we'll deal with the heat and uh, deal with the rest of the day. Let's just go explore, get some lunch, see what's going on. So as we come out of the alley here, there's this big gray building across the street. It's the post office now, but it always wasn't the post office. That used to be the customs house for Georgetown. Georgetown was an international trading pier. Tobacco going out, other things coming in, including, I think, slaves occasionally. And that was the customs house where they paid the duties and tariffs on all the goods going back and forth. Let's uh, make our way up here to N Street and see what we can see. So walking down here on the right here in N Street is the famous house of Avril Harriman, the former governor of New York, and his socialite wife, Pamela Churchill Harriman, who was at one time the uh, daughter-in-law of Winston Churchill. This is where Jacqueline Kennedy lived after the assassination until the media tracked her here and made her life, well, kind of miserable. It's here on N Street, and if I remember, there's another famous house or two down here. Let's go see what we can see. Yeah, this is 3028, 3026, a couple more houses. It's really muggy today. It's like 90 already. I'm in the shade right now, so I'm not dying, but ugh. All right, this is a huge monster house. Is this it? Yeah, this is 3014 N is a Nancy. This was the home of Ben Bradley, the publisher of the Washington Post. He's the guy who led the Washington Post, as, um, the editor of the Washington Post, who uh, did the Watergate story and, of course, the Pentagon Papers. He was played by Jason Robards in All the President's Men and Tom Hanks in the movie The Post. Okay guys, we are back and it is a sprinkler kind of day. And the sprinklers are actually pretty powerful. <laughs> Just had to dodge that one. Uh, we're going for a preset at two o'clock to set up our equipment for a 3.30 event. A Medal of Honor is being given to uh, someone, I don't even actually have the details of who is getting the Medal of Honor today. I gotta go read his uh, commendation record. But uh, that's a pretty historic event. It doesn't happen very often here at the White House. 
So I'm pretty lucky to get credentials for this one today. Let's get around this sprinkler. Whoa. Yeah, we got hit. All right. Go grab our ladder. Move it in. We'll be um, shooting stills today. We will not be shooting video of the event. The event will be televised live on White House TV on YouTube. But we're assigned to take some photos. And uh, it should be kind of cool. Another briefing going on. By one of your colleagues about this particular excerpt uh, that they uh, were referring to. And so I'll say this you know, we did see the excerpt, excerpt but the context uh, of the excerpt. I think once he was there early, I'm not sure. Okay, we go back in to the diplomatic room. It's where the uh, president comes out when he gets to the helicopter. Oh. That's actually so off. And we go out to the palm room. The fridges, that's the burn marks from the British back there. The what? The burn marks when the British burned the place. Oh, is that really? Yeah, those are the burn marks. Oh, so this is where they moved that fridge. It was, sitting, that? It was sitting by the palm room for a while. That's actually the skip. Oh, that is. <laughs> There's a bunch of these. Attention to orders. The President of the United States of America, authorized by Act of Congress, March 3, 1863, has awarded in the name of Congress the Medal of Honor to First Lieutenant Larry L. Taylor, United States Army, for conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty. He directed the patrol team to move 100 yards towards the extraction point where First Lieutenant Taylor, still under enemy fire, landed his helicopter and instructed the patrol team to climb aboard anywhere they could. With the four-man long-range patrol team seated on rocket pods and skids, he evacuated them to the nearest friendly location, undoubtedly saving their lives. Incredible. No, really think about it. It's incredible. But the greatest honor of all, families showed up at these reunions, too. They'd look for Larry. They'd hug him. They'd say, you don't know me, but you saved my daddy's life. Now there's a reception uh, over there.
All right, and on the east side, I'm gonna cut through the tradesman entrance. Thank you. Yep. All right. Ooh, it is so hot right now. We're gonna go download these photos and file them with our agency, and then we're gonna head out of here. Pretty hot day. Okay, the Marine is back in position. That means that Biden has gone into the Oval Office. We, however, are gonna head out past Pebble Beach. That was a pretty interesting story. Captain Larry Taylor, United States Army, um, he rescued four men using a Cobra gunship, which isn't really a transport helicopter. He landed it, the guys grabbed onto the skids and the rocket pods, and he flew them out of a very tense situation, saving their lives. He was given the Medal of Honor today for those actions in Vietnam nearly 50 years ago. All right, we're gonna head out and go run a couple errands because it is so hot. Okay, guys, that is Washington, D.C. on a whatever day it is, Tuesday. Um, listen, for more about Captain Larry Taylor, I've put links in the description. This guy did some pretty amazing things in Vietnam. You should definitely, definitely read the commendations that he had. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Tomorrow is Wednesday. It's going to be hot, pretty boring, but, you know, we'll be back. Thanks a lot for watching. See you tomorrow.